more stoichiometry. No cheers? Um, when we have reactions involving aqueous reactants and products, it's often easier to specify amounts in terms of a volume of a certain molarity instead of trying to figure out how many grams of something are, are in this solution. So we can use the volume and the molarity, the concentration, to calculate how many moles, and then we can use the stoichiometric ratio, the mole ratio from the equation, to figure out moles of another thing. Um, let's just go back to this one real quick. Notice that here I have um, a molarity of sodium nitrate, and here it's still sodium nitrate. The compound isn't changing. That's what tells me that that's a dilution problem. It's not stoichiometry. Okay, so again, do not use the dilution equation for stoichiometry. So we learned that the general map for stoichiometry was grams to moles to moles to grams. The moles to moles is the part that's always in there, moles in the middle. Here, instead of grams of A, we're going to talk about a volume of A, and instead of grams of B, a volume of B. And the conversion between moles and volume comes from the molarity of the solution. So let's do an example. How many milliliters of 0.112 molar sodium carbonate will completely react with 27.2 milliliters of 0.135 molar nitric acid according to the reaction? We have a chemical equation and we've got some numbers. Use the equation to organize the numbers. So I've got 0.112 molar sodium carbonate. So I'm going to find sodium carbonate in the equation and 112. I'm not going to write capital M. I'm going to write moles per liter because that's what capital M means. That'll help me to see that that's probably going to be a conversion factor. The next number, 27.2 milliliters of nitric acid. So 27.2 milliliters of that. And it also gives me a molarity, 0.135 moles per liter of the nitric acid. Everybody okay? What are they asking me to find? Milliliters of sodium carbonate. So the question is, how many milliliters of this? I've got information about one compound. I'm looking for information about another compound. Do not use M1B1 equals M2B2. Not. This is just stoichiometry. So normally with stoichiometry, we go grams to moles to moles to grams, right? But here we have a volume and we're asked to find a volume. So we're doing a variation. We're, we're starting with milliliters and we're ending with milliliters. There's different ways to deal with the fact that this is moles per liter and this is milliliters. And I always kind of have this mental debate with myself, which one should I do with them? I think we're going to go for um, le what I hope is less confusing. Let's take this volume in milliliters and convert it to liters before we start the calculation. This is one way to do it. I think many of you have recognized that you can take this and convert it to liters by moving the decimal point three places. The big question is, which direction? So 27 milliliters, can you picture that in a, in a 100 milliliter graduated cylinder? Can you picture roughly how big it is? So then our choices are 27,000 liters, 
or 0 0.027 liters? 0 0.027. Because 27,000 liters would be like over 10,000 soda bottles. Wait a minute, that's not going to work. This is 0 0.0272 liters. Or do it like this. 27.2 milliliters, milli in the bottom, liters on the top. Milli means 10 to the minus 3. Put a 1 down there, and you're going to get the same thing. So I converted that to liters so that I can start with liters. Makes this calculation a little simpler in some ways. Three conversion factors, so I've got moles of uh, nitric acid. And then the next one, I've got moles of the, no, it's not calcium, it's sodium carbonate. And then here, I'm going to get liters of sodium carbonate. And we're going to have to deal with converting that back to milliliters. Liters, moles, moles. It's a variation on what we've learned before. Moles per liter. That was given to us for nitric acid, 0.135 moles per liter. We don't have to calculate a molar mass. That's nice. Moles to moles. Balanced chemical equation. Two moles of nitric acid to one mole of sodium carbonate. Two moles of nitric acid to one mole of sodium carbonate. Then over here, uh, liters and moles. Again, that was given. 0 0.112 moles per liter. Point zero two seven two times 0.135 divided by 2 divided by 0.112 0 0.1632 Nine two liters. And then we have to convert that back to milliliters. So that's going to be 16.4 milliliters. Any questions? Let's do another one. A 25 ml sample of nitric acid solution requires 35.7 milliliters of 0 0.108 molar sodium carbonate to completely react with all of the nitric acid in the solution. What is the concentration of the HNO3 solution? So here we've got HNO3 and Na2CO3. Can we use M1V1 equals M2V2? No. It's not the same compound. There's a chemical reaction occurring. What messes it up, the reason we can't use the dilution equation is because of the mole ratio. The mole ratio may not be one to one. If it isn't, you'll get the wrong answer. So we're going to need an equation here, a chemical equation. This is the same reaction we just did. HNO3. 
plus Na2CO3. And that's going to make uh, two sodium chloride. Wait, sodium chloride. There's no chloride in there. Uh, two sodium nitrate and um, CO2, H2. Yeah, that looks right. Did I do that right? So this is telling us we have 25.0 milliliters of the nitric acid, and we needed 35.7 milliliters of the sodium carbonate. And the concentration of the sodium carbonate was 0 0.108 moles per liter. The question is, what's this concentration in moles per liter? So this is a different version of the previous problem. Instead of finding volume, we're trying to find concentration. So I'm going to stick the path up on the top. Usually we go grams to moles to moles to grams. But this time we're given a volume in milliliters. And instead of finding the, the mass or the volume at the end, we want the concentration, the molarity. What does molarity equal? It's moles per liter. So what I need is this volume. That's not a volume. I need the moles. And they gave me the, the volume. So I just need to find the moles and then divide by the volume. So this one we're going to go volume to moles to moles and stop. And then use a little bit of algebra. So again, it may be easier to just convert this to liters before we start. So 25 milliliters is 0 0.0250 liters. But that's not what I'm starting with. We're still going to need that, though. And then over here, 35.7 milliliters is 0 0.0357 liters. This is what I want to start with. And I'm going to use this as a conversion factor to get to moles of nitric acid. So that's liters of sodium carbonate. I'm going to go to moles of sodium carbonate, and I'm going to go to moles of nitric acid, and then I'm going to stop. So I check that my units work out. This is the molarity of the sodium carbonate, which was given 0 0.108 moles per liter. 0 0.108 moles per liter. This is the mole ratio from the balanced chemical equation. Two moles of nitric acid to one mole of sodium carbonate. So that's my moles of nitric acid. I, I want 
molarity, right? So I need to use this. I need to take the moles and divide by the volume. So I have the moles now. I calculated that. I've got this one right here. And I was given the volume. I, I converted it into liters. So the molarity equals 0 0.0077112 moles divided by 0 0.0250 liters. Point three zero eight moles per liter. Any questions? There'll be questions later.